Amazon also announced something new called Lumber Yard that I am very intrigued by. This is a this is a game platform. Um, so it's a free cross pla free cross platform 3D game engine, tightly integrated with Twitch. Remember, Amazon acquired mm. Twitch. Everybody was thought, what are they going to do with that? Uh, it has, you know, plugins galore. Here's a uh, game ready wilderness assets in case you need to build a forest scene. Uh, beach City asset package, including 1950s jukeboxes and others. This is fascinating to me. So if you've been a if you're a game dev or a kid, see this is what I find interesting. If you're a kid who who wants to develop games, Amazon's just going to basically enable this for you. Wow! Wow! I'm impressed. Yeah. Ready to use art assets? You don't even have to be a designer. You can, uh, you know, you don't. I wouldn't know how to design a, a woodland forest. But you don't have to. Just download the textures in your set. They even support multiplayer games. Yeah. We live in, like I said, this is an amazing time to be a kid because uh, you can, you know, and I think it's probably a fairly logical step from doing Minecraft. And then you get about 18 or 19, and you say, I want to do something, uh, you know, 3D rendered, right. yeah. first-person shooter. Yeah. Yep. And because it works with Twitch, um, you're kind of already socially, and it's socially enabled. I'm going to have to play around with this. I love doing, you know, map development for, for games and things like that. I, I, I always found that really interesting. So, and my kids now are picking that up with Minecraft. And with other games, they're like, right. hey, could I make a, my own map for this game? Or, uh, you know, could I make a multiplayer map that people that my friends can get on? And so they're getting into it, too. And this, this sounds really cool. And again, uh, like all AWS services, in case of zombie attack, you could <laughs> continue to use the game engine and, and run nuclear generators or... <laughs> um, this lumberyard is, is, is kind of mind-boggling. They have the Crytek engine, and that, that's for Crisis, right? That's the best. That's why that it is. That's one of the best like, ones. I mean, you're, you're getting access to the like top of the line. Yeah, engine. Yeah, for sure. What, I mean, what, Unreal Engine is probably the most popular. And they recently announced that they were um, not not for they would give give away for free up to a certain point, and then when you start taking revenue, you yeah you owe some money. But um, you can get started for free on an Unreal Engine four now. This says. But, Free to download, no seat fees, no subscription fees, no requirement to share revenue. No requirement it's to share free, revenue. free, free. Huh. Um, and then it, it has uh, Twitch chat play. You can use drag and drop visual scripting to create gameplay features that let Twi Twitch viewers use chat to impact the game they're watching. So this is probably similar to the technology that they use on Twitch when you're, Twitch plays Pokemon. Yeah. Um, so that the chat actually talks to the cry engine. Yeah, so it's so it's saying that Amazon will make money off Amazon Web Services that are that developers use to build or support their games. That's how they're going to make money. They give this away for free, and they say, "Oh, well, you're going to need a place to run it, so run it on AWS." Wow. Uh, game Lift has a dollar fifty per one thousand daily active user fee, in addition to standard fees for any other Amazon Web Services used, like S3 or whatever. What language do I write things? Is it C++ or is there a scripting language? I know. Is it all GUI? Is it all... The the images make it look like it's all GUI, but it can't be, right? They do have a, a, a managed service for deploy that you pay for for deploying, operating, and scaling server-based online games using AWS GameLift, and that's mm -hmm. going to cost you. But uh, for affordable. A buck fifty per thousand daily active users. Amazing. You know, I wish I had the skills to use this kind of stuff. But I'm sure there are kids, if you're watching, learn to write code. Yeah, absolutely. You know? When or, I left... Uh, or design <clears throat> games. Well, or, I, or maybe not, because everything's going to become you modular. Maybe don't, you don't even need to write code. Coding. You may not. Yeah. Um, there's there's going to have to be something you need to... Some logic you need to uh, add to your game. But uh, this looks really good. I'm going to have to give this a try. I was, uh, I, I told you I like to do maps and things for games. I did a Half-Life map. When I left my, one of my jobs, uh, I, it, was a, it was a copacetic, I was leaving the job, go someplace else, and they said, what do you want to do for your last day? <laughs> and I said, I said, I'm going to make a map of the office. 
and we're all going to get on. I'm going to come around and load Half-Life on all the computers, and we're all just going to have a big oh, gaming day. Oh, what fun. It was awesome, you know, and someone's like, I'm in the conference room. It's like, are you really in the conference room? No, no, I'm on the game in the conference room. Oh. And uh, it was a blast. I still have that map around someplace. But So you use the you use the tool within Half-Life to make it. I did. They have I used a the mapping map tool, tool, right? Yep. yep. Is that fairly easy to use? Well, this has been ages, right? This was 19... Right. Well, 2000, I guess, um, when I did this. So it was ages ago. And it was not easy to use. It took yeah. hours and hours and hours. Yeah. Uh, but I it was think fun. It's gotten, I think it's probably gotten a lot easier. Yeah. Yep.